Good Lord. Well, you saw the video yesterday from the Sons of Speed. It was a blast. Again, go to that. Uh, and now today we're kind of our first day of seeing all the vendors and stuff. We're hanging out with Paul at the Fairing Exchange. And I got here right at about 11.45, supposed to be here at noon. And Paul's like, I, I got off and I go, I got to figure out the suspension on the CDO. It's all fouled up. It's the, the geometry's wrong. I've done something wrong. Immediately walked me over to Suspension Technologies. And the boys from Suspension Technology were like, bring that damn bike over here. We're going to fix it. So, unplanned, no idea this is going to happen. The CBO is getting new suspension. I wonder if this is going to be like the fairing exchange where they take my bike apart and go, why is this missing a bolt here? Why is this wrong? <laughs> I'm going to guess yes. You know, a good thing too, the bike's got about 30,000 miles on. It's five years old and it has not had the uh, fork oil changed. So one of the reasons I'm having with it, they're fixing is that from the factory, that bike's front end is lowered by an inch to compensate for the 20 inch wheel. And just not a very good way to do things, you know? So the bike's geometry is too low in the front. It's not right right now, so they're gonna take care of it. That's really and a four, I forget. That's that's what we're talking about, Suspension Technologies. So suspensiontechnologies.com. I've heard a lot of good stuff about them. A lot of dudes out there riding and love it. I just, I haven't tried it yet, so. Just to prove to everyone I did put brakes on it before I left. There were some concerned viewers out there saying like, did you really put brakes on that bike before? I'm like, yes. It has fresh pads. CBO is safe, except for the fact that it rides down the road like that. Like an old school rate. You ever wondered how professionals can do a suspension job in like less than an hour? This kind of stuff. <laughs> I, I never even seen anything like this. Axle out, slide it forward, bam, bam. Like this is this is pro stuff here, man. So, so the owner of suspension technology, I'm not gonna say his name because you never know if they want that. He's actually 30 years in the racing industry and the automotive side. So that's what he did before he started suspension technology. Really, really great dude. And he will talk to you about his competitors openly and not that doesn't mean negatively. So we've been sitting there talking about what he likes and doesn't like, and he said there's a couple products out there. He's like, I they're good. He's like, I'd rather you buy mine, but theirs are good, you know. So just come check him out. If you're in the, if you're in the market for suspension, come check him out. He really is, seems like a good dude. So well I can tell you this much. I've already left Smitch Technologies over fairing exchange. The geometry was way off before. So I'm right here going, oh, look, it turns again. I also found out part of the problems was one of my fork seals had gone. I kind of wondered that. So I really did not have front suspension at all. So we raised it up an inch to stock like Roguelite special height, new front end, new shocks in the rear. I'm so excited to get a bike that rides right again. So Mike, it's, oh, I said his name. <laughs> the friends at Suspension Technologies. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I'll, I'll check in on it later on, but amazing. Now, other greatness is happening. He's adjusting my bars. So, 18 inch KSTs, just like on the orange bike, well, different design, but same height, are going on CBO because my wife stole my high bars. Say hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. <laughs> so, again, this is the fairing exchange. They're at every rally, right? I mean, literally, Myr Myrtle Beach, both Daytona, Sturgis, all that stuff. Big tent. This one's, I don't know, what is this? I don't know, big tent. Fairy Exchange does custom Dynamics lights, KSC handlebars, their own painted matched inner fairing. So if you have a bike that has a flat black plastic inner fairing, you come to Fairing Exchange and you can get the red, the blue, the whatever your bike is, it'll all match. One of my favorite upgrades. And then they also do, what else do they do? Oh, they do clockwork windshields. They do Avon grips. I'm getting that today too. So, it's fun. So, this is what a professional looks like when they're snaking wires versus me crying and drinking in a fetal position in the corner. <laughs> That is my least favorite thing to do on earth is handlebars, man. I freaking hate it. Second favorite, the least favorite is the inner fairing. That's why they do it. Completely forgot to video this. This is Paul's bike. They just built it. It's amazing. So yeah, there's Paul's bike. They have not put the new Custom Dynamics headline in it just yet because they have very few of them, so he don't want to waste it on himself. <laughs> but powder coated wheels, Look at this, uh, Roach did the striping and stuff. Look at that. It's their 10th anniversary, so. And of course, this was all built by their team. As a matter of fact, Chase, who 
though I don't see at the moment with the motor. It's a uh, SNS 129. Love that bike. I love that bike. Special seat Mustang made for him. So <laughs> he's already pulling bolts out, going, which of these things is not like the other? <laughs> like, what's the one I could find? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have to come back and tell you things that are funny. So I'm sitting there looking at the bike. And Paul and I at the same time thought, they're Bluetooth. <laughs> I love dumb jokes. Just a good old boy. Never mean and no harm. <laughs> I love it. General Lee. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know what they're doing to it, but go slow motor. Finally in the sun, we get to look at the Hydroglide Revival. So, okay, those are like beadwork. That's cool. So what makes it special? You got bags, you got seat, you got seat rail. Uh, nice touch there. The round, actually I think Heritage had that. 114, I'm sure. That's really cool. I like it, I gotta tell you. I like it a lot. Cool tank badging, and then Hydroglide. So this first came out. I mean, I'm not gonna buy one because I'm not a heritage guy. I look like a bear in a roller skate. But it is only two grand. More than the regular heritage, so. I think they nailed it on that one. I don't normally like whine about prices. Yeah. Uh, Coke, Diet Coke's five dollars and fifty cents, and a bottle of water is five bucks. I was in Woodstock in 1999, and that shit caused a riot. <laughs> you're doing that all wrong. Yeah. Everything you're doing is wrong. <laughs> so, as you saw, I just bothered Hamsoil Adam for a while. He's a good friend. Come check him out. He's at the Speedway. You can't miss him. He's right across from the Advent Health entrance. Um, where you go get your oil change, man? I pay for an oil change like a good human being. Uh, and then uh, I think it's two and a quarter. Yeah, two and a quarter for a three hole. Ham soil, uh, high quality of course, black or chrome filter, whatever you want. Come by here, they'll get it done. So uh, I almost every rally we get at least one of our bikes done because I haven't done it. Crossbones this time, I had not changed oil and should have, so why not have Adam do it? So come check him out. Also, this is the place where you can buy that additive you put in your fuel tank where you can make your exhaust smell like a shripper. Ask my father. Anyway, so now I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna wander over to, can you hear my voice is gone? Sometimes I'm gonna yell for four days and be drunk. Uh, I'm gonna go to Advan's tent, which is next door to Tab, hang out there for a while, and then uh, head back to the campground and either defile myself or uh, hide the rest of the night. I forgot to mention also, Amsoil Adam does uh, love jugs also, which are really cool. Never had a set, but I've always heard good stuff, so something else to do. Always help your friends, y'all. Found it, amazingly. Advan's two rows behind Adam and a little bit to the right. And I see my boy Eddie. Are they installing something? What are they doing? Walking back over from Advan to pick up the Springer, and I always forget to video Adam's truck. Freaking love this truck. You should probably watch his channel. You might, if you don't, go check it out. Amsoil Adam. So, his truck's name is Goliath. It's so bad. That's what he travels the country in for rallies. Like, <laughs> it's like the same same uh, truck as I think a Knight Rider or something. The GMC General. It's so freaking cool. Watch his channel. Him maintaining this is what he does a lot of. It's really really neat stuff. I don't know, but I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying watching you get mic'd up and stuff. I thought we were just gonna. <laughs> yes. Wires down yes. Here. Yeah. Up my nipples. Did you oil up first? Uh, I, I burned up a little bit. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I used this Florida sun. The golden shower is here. <laughs> All his majesty. <laughs> I love. I actually, legitimately love that color. But we were just giving him crap, saying, "You ever like been up drinking all night and then go take a pee in the morning?" There you go. So, Bert from Baggers and Brews has been here. And he put his ass cheeks on my wife's bike. So what can we do? To feel like that? That's a start. Let's, let's that. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just kind of do that. 
That's good. What else do we want to do? Oh, let's let's this will irritate him. By the way, and I'm gonna loosen his phone mount. Come on, where's how does that? Oh, Jesus! Bear paws tighten the. Okay, yeah, let's make that nice and let's make that loose. And what else can we do? I'd almost like to adjust his shift linkage. Tempted to steal his turn signal lens, but I feel like that might be a little much. Well, I guess we'll end episode two here. We're having a blast. Weather's been a little sketchy. It's gonna clear up, I think. I'm praying. Maybe it'll get worse, who knows? But here's your Daytona Speedway Vendor Village. A whole lot more here than before, I think I mentioned, because they moved a lot of people out of uh, uh, Daytona Harley. They closed up a bunch of spaces and made a move over here, but that's fine because I kind of think that there wasn't enough here before. Now there's a lot. So definitely come to the Speedway and check it out. Tonight, I think I may go back to the campground and behave myself. Maybe. And then uh, tomorrow, I'm going to head up to the uh, Broken Spoke for the Cycle Source show. That'll be a lot of fun. I'm going to piss off everyone there because I'm going to go ahead and bring the CBO. So all my chopper friends are going to be like, you're on a bagger. <laughs> That'll be fun. I love to alienate people. So love y'all to death. Take care of each other out there. Ready for, what did I just say? Love y'all to death. Take care of each other out there. And then look for like episode three in the next day or two.